the day has arrived. Time for my life turnaround. Let's get into the story. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another gaming video and we and this is the first chapter of my life turnaround So I wonder if they're gonna be adding more chapters into it All right, let's pick our skin tone um, Okay uh, uh, We'll keep it the same same uh, a little bit darker um, Silky smooth um, uh, Let's go with a blonde ponytail. Why not choose your name? Oh, we'll go with it. The original. Oh. The turnaround. Alright. A new work week begins. Alright. The alarm goes off. Your head is pounding to the beat of the alarm's beeps. <laughs> Who does that? You sit up on the edge of the bed, gathering your thoughts. That's what I do, because I set my alarm every morning at 6 to get up and ready for school. I shouldn't have stayed up half the night looking at my ex's pixgram feed. What were you- Oh my god. Whatever. Let's face this day head on. I may not feel like a million bucks, but I could try to look like that. <laughs> okay, she's gonna try to look like she is worth something. What? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we- Okay, time to pick up a suit. Fancy it up. Hmm, let's go with a ruby coat. That's why not. Another day at the office. Alright. After a tum tu tumultuous breakup, work has kept your darkest thoughts at bay. It may the definition of that word may pop up in the screen. If not, then I feel lazy. <laughs> at least spreadsheets keep me from looking at Adam's pigscram feed. Especially with all your former friends having a blast with him. Your phone buzzes. Oh? How are things in the trenches? That's your friend Abigail working on a few cubicles down from yours. I got my trusty spreadsheets to keep me company. Alright. Any other day I would say that's pretty nerdy and pathetic, but you get a pass for now. I can't blame you for your cyber stalking your ex with pics like these. Oh my god. Abigail sends you a screenshot of Adam's ridiculously stunning new selfie. And a heart emoji you couldn't resist posting. <laughs> ah man, I wish I could hit that, but I need more good old times, I guess. Ah. Uh, girl, I admire your strength in not running back to him. Oh, plus one self. Ah. <laughs> uh, if only she knew about all the unanswered voicemails I've left. New girlfriend or not, this is just another one of your temporary breakups, right? <laughs> your mind flashes back to harsh words screamed, flower pots thrown at the walls, doors slammed, you alone in the silence. How do I put it? Uh, this time was different, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> These are not perfect, but th this time is different. It was just, it wasn't just another fight. The way he said goodbye, oh, I'm sorry. He may think he's too much of a hotshot to realize it's now, but it's his loss. Enough about dreamy exes. Now it's the time to impress the bosses. There's been talk. I've been hearing some rumors. Oh, have you been eavesdropping? Rumors, eh? Good rumors? <laughs> yeah, uh, the rumors are good. Anything to worry about? Only if you worry about bigger paychecks, then oh... And hearing the word upgrade tossed around all week. Wait, they're giving them the I think they're giving them the stimulus check. <laughs> Nothing I say is relation to real life, this is just a game, okay? So don't take me a bit serious. I guess being single ended up paying off, I guess so. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Alright. Imagine the chapter was short. I'm gonna try to make it a full chapter if I can. Later. Abigail approaches your cubicle on her way somewhere. Well, I'm heading over to meet one of the new head honkos. Honchos? Wish me luck. From the looks of it, I'm in for a treat. Mm -hmm. As Abigail heads into the manager's office, 
You take a gander and see what she's talking about. There's a tall man with improbability chiseled features waiting for her. There's a lot of words that I don't know, but I'm not going to put all of them. Except for that part where I said, had struggled to say. Who's that guy? <laughs> He's still not responding. He's dressed smartly and stands out around here. Even higher ups looks like it's always casual Friday. Especially Turner, your current project manager. Huh, I've usually received passive aggressive feedback from Turner by now. Your thoughts materialize as Turner slides up to your cubicle, seemingly out of nowhere. Ah, Mary, I was hoping to talk to you. Maybe this time is that good news Abigail was talking about. Turner clears his throat, demanding your attention. You know, Mary, here at iElectric Solutions, we're all about efficiency. It's really commendable when employees put the company first. Thanks. I mean, yeah, like Jenkins, for example. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jenkins is such a kiss ass. <laughs> He implemented the new automation software. I'm confident it'll streamline output. Which brings me back to you. I understand you've gone through some personal issues lately. Oh. Whoa, inappropriate. Oh, it's not. It's not. Anyhow, this automation software, it's really exploding our growth hacking. However, when a load gets lighter, you don't need as many hands on deck, you know? I'm not sure he knows how metaphors work. <laughs> and it all comes down to our shareholders, really. They're the real backbone of the company, see? <laughs> Time to show your culprit suck up. I'm all about pleasing the shareholders. I'm on board for the next phase. The next phase. Hey, you know me. Company girl to the end. That's, you know, that's good to hear. Ah, yeah. Turner looks at the ceiling before continuing. He takes a deep breath. This efficiency boost really inspired us to trim the fat, so to speak. What? Everybody wants a slim figure. <laughs> I love how I just quoted that. <laughs> harder now, oh, okay. Turner chuckles again, harder now, amused by his own mixed metaphors. I'm not sure I... Ah, jeez, Mary, you're making this so much harder than it should be. What? We're letting you go effective immediately, so time slows down to a trickle as your heart sinks. So what, you're saying you're firing her? Aw, oh, please don't fire her. Your mind wanders to Adam slamming the door to your apartment for the last time. This can't be happening, it doesn't make any sense. I have to change this mind. I can't improve my performance, firing me like what? I knew, I know what's happening. He's definitely going to fire her. Let's, um, let's try to change him as my like. I can improve my performance. Mr. Turner, sir, I'm a valuable, hardworking team player. Thing is, most of your functions within electric solutions will now be automated. Say that again. <laughs> what does HR have to say? I can fulfill new roles. I can fulfill new roles because there must be other ways I could contribute. I mean... My whole career. I'm being replaced by a bot? I think. That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah. I'd see this as an opportunity to shift gears. Now you can deal with those personal issues. Okay, so he is trying to fire her. As if there was anything great about my personal life. We've prepared a letter of recommendation for you. Oh. Oh, how kind of you. <laughs> and that... You know, and a servant's package we think you'll find agreeable. You roll your eyes, not minding if Turner sees you. How do you how do you enter this on your terms? Burn all the bridges. Go with dignity. Sass this up. Let's go sass it up, cause I don't even care. She's getting fired anyways. Well, I hope your software is a great team player. <laughs> we got a sass there. Ah, yeah. You do your best to smile through your contempt. Uh, sounded better in my head. <laughs> well, you lot, you got sassy though. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel like a weight's been lifted off my chest. Wow. Okay. And now we're outside. 
the office. Alright, what's going on here? Your life thus far. A messy breakup. An excessively heavy box with your belongings. Okay, so she did get fired. And no taxi in sight to go back home. Mary! That's Abigail running towards you. I heard what happened. This is the last thing you needed. Oh, she's worried. She's worried about her. Oh, you let out a long, heartfelt sigh. I sneak out one of those meetings. That should have been a memo. Figured you need a way to get home, right? That's actually very helpful. Although, could it be guilt? Either way, I can't carry this box on public transit, and now it's really not the time to splurge out on a cab. Abigail's phone starts ringing. Unless they spotted me on my way out. If they spotted her, doesn't mean she gets fired too. What's with that guilty frown on her face? Yeah, boss. Sure. Okay, just let me get back to my computer and we'll figure this out. Okay. <sighs> she ends the call and turns it with an apologetic look. Ugh, emergency call. I'm really, really sorry, Mary. I have to head back in. Will you be okay? I don't think she will be okay. She just got fired. <laughs> How do you respond? Ah! <laughs> These are not perfect answers, but don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got this. Go ahead. I can handle myself. No, she cannot Thanks With a sad look. I I'm so sorry, babe, babe <laughs> Sounded a bit weird. So walking it is you head on to the plaza If only this box wasn't so heavy <laughs> You're struggling more and more to balance the cumbersome box with each step. Step. I said step. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, what is it? Oh. An eternity later. <sighs> Not two blocks away from your former office, you turn onto an empty alley for a shortcut. Oh, don't trust in alleys. They're always dangerous. Fitting. Your phone buzzes. It's your ex, Adam. Hey, you. I heard about your bu job. Bummer. Ah, uh, suck it up. Wanna talk over over coffee or something? Talk about over coffee or something? I definitely don't need this from him right now. Just looking at his name makes me sad. It's a reminder of how everything went wrong. But how did he... Abigail! Oh, oh. She's in on this, isn't she? As you debate whether to respond, you hear a faint noise from behind the dumpster you just passed. Embottled, emboldened by your desperate situation, you step forward for a closer look. A puppy jumps out from behind it. Oh, is this about finding happiness to a lost puppy? I think that was one of the check marks, I think. That was from episode 1. You can check out that end part. You lay down the box on the ground. The puppy is a husky. A Shiba? A Dalmatian? Or what is it? What kind of breed is it? I don't have enough to know what kind of breed it is. So... It's too cute! What do you do? All of these are great. Head it, rub its belly, scratch its head. Um... If it's... It, like, it'll just pet it. The puppy doesn't flinch when you do this as if it already knows you. Wow. One love from pup. I Yep, we're already starting to gain some love. Woof, woof. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm not gonna do that. The adorable puppy starts whimpering and hiding behind your legs. Poor thing. Hey there, little cutie. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments what kind of breed it is because I don't know it. It seems in dire need of a good meal. If you know about dogs, then put it in the comments because I want to know. You also notice it's not wearing a collar. Oh, it's lost in the streets, eh? How come you're all here by yourself? It's a uh, he. He looks up at you, wagging his tail and growling playfully. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing those lines, all right? I love it's just a mysterious breed, like who is like what's this Pokemon? Well, it's now more like what's this dog? And aren't those the cutest eyes ever? I guess it is cute. 
Lost in the puppy's gaze, it takes you a while to notice echoing footsteps growing louder. Hey Mary. Oh, it's Connor. Good thing I found you here. Not that I would miss someone who really knows how to pull off an outfit. <laughs> you turn around to meet the stranger. His smart attire makes you think he might work around here. You look around and there's nobody else but the pop and the stranger and you. Okay, out of nowhere, weirdo. Looking for me in the alley and who might you be? Um, I'm gonna ask him first because I ask questions first. His face rings a bell though. <laughs> His cheeks flush a bit though he remains serious. Let me start over. <laughs> he looks so calm and collected. I'm Connor. I'm friends with Abigail. And not looking and not bad looking at all. I, w I, I was with her at Electric before. Oh yeah, the guy next to Abigail. She sent me to help with the box. I didn't have to stay at her meeting since I'm starting tomorrow, so... Wait. I got fired and you got in? Oh. Oh. Oh, something's happening. I told... I thought Abigail told you, I'm the new automation software lead, lead. I thought she was getting replaced by a bot. You really are literally being serious right now? Okay, if it warrants for those dreamy looks, I'd lose it. Thanks for making me obsolete. Enjoy your new position at iElectric. I'll be on my way. As you squat to pick up your box, you notice the dog's inside it. It wags his tail and his tongue sticking out. What is What's happening? <laughs> okay is that you had a dog at the office just gonna be like uh huh I electric isn't fit for people let alone animals he lets out a little laugh omg he's even cuter when he smirks <laughs> no mary focus his software skills just got us fired remember look man right about now i love to ca just call it a day so do you mind Peering into the box, you look at the puppy. She's just looking down at at him and at Connor. At the puppy and Connor. A mysterious breed though. He's whimpering and he looks as sad as you feel. Seems like he's also had a bad day. Oh my god, two people have bad days. That's not good. I can't just leave you here, can I? You gotta, you gotta raise it up yourself or put it in for adoption. Then again, the box alone has been challenging enough. Oh, fine. So, Connor, right? How about you help me get this guy a quick checkup? Okay, so she's gonna take him to the vet. And there's that cute smile again. I think I saw a pretty decent looking vet not far away from here. Lead the way. You both walk in the direction of the vet's office. Connor's carrying what used to be the contents of your desk. And you have the puppy in your arms. You hold him tightly and you can feel his tiny bones. <laughs> Poor thing. Maybe he's not so bad. Let's get to know him. Don't feel like talking. Ah, oh, I wish to know this, but I need more. Oh. There's no... What, is, what are the prices, though? Because... Okay. Something's off. Don't feel like talking. Ah. I guess we'll have to go with the free answers instead of with the uh, ones that we get. No. Yeah. You head to the vet's office in awkward silence. Can you trust that man that you got canned? That got you canned? I don't know. Alright. Oh! Healing hands for healthy paws. After a short walk. You enter the office but see the vet's on the phone. She's focused on the call, so you wait. You can't help but notice her kind eyes and warm smile as she laughs with the unknown caller. <laughs> no, I just need help with the follow up. Hang on, there's people here. Yeah, I'll call you back. Hangs up the phone. Selena is written in her white coat. How can I help you? <laughs> you place the puppy on the counter. Mary found this rascal wandering around an alley. <laughs> You've come to the right place then. She checks him. Her eyes sparkle, scanning him with expertise. Expertise. Hmm. I just have to cut out that part because, other than sight mal 
malnourishment, some vaccines, and a desperately needed bath. This little guy seems just fine. She turns her computer on, reading some registration spreadsheets. So, I take it you're adopting him. Adopting him? The words broke AF rumbling your head. <laughs> I just got fired. It's a huge responsibility. <laughs> the words broke AF. I like that. Like. <laughs> so we just hit I just got fired. Yeah, about that. I don't think so. I bet you two, you two would be really happy with a new adventure in your life. Adventure's the last thing. Wait. <gasps> oh, but we're not. <laughs> but we're not. Um, okay, cuties. I got your vibes wrong then. <laughs> what is going on? Was that a wink? I know adopting in these crazy times can be a lot. Since actual kids seem to be cancelled, pets are the new kids and plants are the new pets. I like that. The puppy moves away from Sel Selena to learn to lean into you. Uh he does seem to like you. He approaches to scratch the mutt behind the ears, barely missing your hand on its way there. Oh, dogs are nothing but love. If only people would offer them a home off the streets, they'd be the ones being rewarded with absolute unconditional love. Unconditional love doesn't sound bad at all. So, that's why I started the Pause for Life sponsorship program. Sounds... Elaborate? You got that right. Though it's basically matching a patron with the day-to-day -day foster family. Her uppy vibe comes down a bit. She sighs. I'm just having trouble getting the whole thing started. The project really needs someone with high-level organization skills and... I'm more of a go-with-all-the-flow kind of gal, you feel me? Alright, I was checking if it was still recording. Yup. It's your lucky day. Mary is the master of spreadsheets, right? Selena looks at you and the puppy. Oh, interesting. And would you happen to have some time on your plate? I mean, like, do you have any spare time so we could talk about it? That's, ni that's a nice way to look at it. I've got nothing but time. So she does have time to spare. Her eyes brighten. What do you say? Wanna be paused for life's magerial brain? Manage- meh. Manag whatever. Though helping animals is its own reward, and we can't afford much, you'll still be compensated fairly. Cute puppies and money? Interesting. Speaking of this, I might get a job in real life so I could earn that money too. So I could get basically a new computer, probably a new phone as well. Basically all the stuff that I can get. If I get a job, I will get a job. I... Sure, I think I can do that. <laughs> once plus one self. Is this an odd turn of events? I guess. Thanks, Connor. And why don't you see how the program works firsthand by talking with this one home with you? I can't tell you guys have bonded already. I can tell you guys have bonded already. You find yourself scratching that half asleep pup resting against you. Oh, it's asleep. Oh my god. Plus one self. <laughs> If only we could find a patron at this hour. Or a Yelp reviewer. I could pitch in a pa as a patron, if you don't mind, Mary. And there's the enhancing, the enchanting smile, once again. <laughs> and now for the hard part, a name to give this little angel. Uh, oh, okay. Now here comes the real thing, we have to name our pet. Alright, I just named it Butter. <laughs> I like, uh, okay, we'll name it Butter. What about... <laughs> yes! That, that is perfect because, because you know, peanut butter, but I just put butter. What about butter? <laughs> oh my god. Like, literally? Yeah, he likes the name. He likes it. Love it! I guess Selena also loves it. Now, just sign here. And here. And we're all set. Mary, swing by tomorrow whenever you feel like, alright? Oh my god. That was exhausting. Picking a name for this little pup because it's alone in the streets. Sad. Sad. 
What a day. You placed the puppy gently on the floor. I didn't even see where we are. I think we're back at home. <laughs> what's, what's Butter doing? <laughs> this little rascal runs straight into the carpet clumsily. <laughs> what is he doing with the carpet? And adorably. <laughs> a quick update on my life's plot. Twists and then off to bed. Ah, yes. The classic mo notification delude. Ignoring them, you take a photo of your puppy. Here you go, pig scram. Let's feel the puppy love. Well, now that everybody knows you're here, welcome home, little butter. <laughs> Are you ready to roll with your life's turnaround? Wait, is this the end? I think we are ending the story. Oh my god, we've ended the whole story. And literally, without cutting into different parts, that was the whole story of my life. Turn around. Whew! My goodness, I'm gonna have a fun time editing this video. So, yep, that's it for adorable stories. We just finished the whole story, literally, without entering parts like the, like the past video. So, I hope you enjoyed my life turnaround, and let me know what you think about it. So, you can leave a like comment and subscribe for the next adorable stories and you'll literally like literally never miss out on it i'll see you in the next video